So, welcome to my brand new studio. Wanna check it out? Let's go. First train on the plane, we were flying to the mountain, all across the ocean, and there we go again. Walking main streets, lost in new places, a million new faces. Today, this is a sneak peek at my brand new YouTube studio with over 10 different sets, one of which you see right behind me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, join that notification gang, and hit that like button before this video even starts. One of my favorite things about the space is the custom acoustic treatment that we added. And as you can see, unlike most YouTubers, this is a Harry Potter custom DIY home-built acoustic treatment panel, and I absolutely love them. I'm gonna have a full dedicated video on how to build these on my new channel, how to where I teach you all different kind of house projects, home projects, DIY projects. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to that channel, also linked below. These panels were super easy to make, very cost effective, and might I add, uh, very, very helpful at sound dampening. Remember, these panels aren't meant to kill sound, but just absorb some of those sound vibrations. I fully treated this nook in the studio with five total of these panels, and I've got a giant off-white keep-off rug on the bottom to absorb some of that sound that's reflecting off of the ceiling as well. Yo, Gerald and Dunn, come rate my studio. Remember, this is just to wet your whistle, give you a sneak peek, because I will do a full, in-depth, dedicated tour of each of the different set spaces, but Yes, these are the Nanlite Pava tubes that are so, so awesome. You see them in a ton of YouTubers' videos, but when have you seen eight lined up in a row like this? This is super epic. They're fully RGB. You got the full range of color temperatures as well. I absolutely love these things. If you look right above them, I have... my awesome backdrop system, where I have all different Savage paper backdrop rolls. I got the black one up right now, this is the gray one, and I like having this gray one, because then I can take the mix panel 150, and I can splash some light onto this background and change up the color. However, I will say, I'm still a fan of just the classic Savage paper backdrop rolls, which is probably why I already have six different colors in my studio. What color should I get next? Drop a comment below. Now up above me is what most of you are probably interested in. This is how I've kept most of the light stands in my studio in the closet because I've mounted a bunch of different lights. I've mounted a tension pole from Impact. Shout out BNH Photo. They got awesome products for you guys to check out. And you got my mic, overhead mic, and overhead camera rig that I've all mounted to my ceiling, mounted to my walls. You guys will have to subscribe for that full video on what to do. This is the classic set that you've been seeing on most of my videos. This is where I have the camera right here, and it's pointing this way towards my Savage Paper backdrop rolls. And this desk, I actually do my work from home setup at also. If you didn't know, I'm a high school chemistry and physics teacher, so Right here is where I teach all my students, and I got tons of different desk setup tours because as a sneak peek, you can see another desk over there, there's another desk over there, there's another desk in the loft office out there. Tons of desk setup tours coming in 2021. For those of you with a keen eye, yes, this right here is an M1 Mac Mini, fully specced out. We got the Rodecaster Pro right here, got a Shure SM7B, who knows what's to come in 2021. And you guys know I love my standing desk. This one right here is from Autonomous AI. That one over there is my brand new one from Ergonofis, and I have one more in another room called the Jarvis from Foley. Over here in the studio, I got my main key light, the Aperture 120D Mark I. Right behind me is a giant glass whiteboard that I love. Sometimes I use it for teaching from home, sometimes I use it just for planning or for the background of my videos to remind you to hit that subscribe button or, you know, just to draw maybe Peter Griffin. Yeah, just did that real time. One of my favorite things about the studio is how modular everything is. I love that I can completely change up the wall and the set right behind me just by moving around different things, changing around the different shelves and the pegs, and even adding different things like different colors, for example, different greeneries, getting rid of the Supreme box and putting something more brown or more black in there, and just changing it up to fit the style of my video, fit the style that I'm currently feeling. So normally, I have tons of different plants in the studio, but right now, because it's winter season and a lot of plants kind of die out, I'm cycling through different things, 
I have a giant fiddle leaf fig tree that goes right here, but I love that I can change that up for a cactus, for a palm tree, for any little thing that I wanna change up, or even go with zero greenery in here. So right here, this is my brand new Ergonophis standing desk. It is one of my favorites that I've ever tried because of the matte finish that's on it. It feels amazing. This desk is super sturdy, and I really like the memory preset mechanism for this tabletop, and I love all the different accessories that they sell, from drawers to the mountable power strips, I love how everything integrates with these Ergon Office desks. The way I'm using this standing desk is as a tabletop set for my YouTube filming studio, but sometimes I actually create a full desk setup tour on here, which you guys will see really soon. And one of my favorite new things are these Grove made pads. I have the wool felt one right here and I can't wait to get more because they make leather ones, they make matte pads with different colors. I think they're an awesome buy for any YouTuber, especially if you get the largest XL size. It's a great top-down shot or for thumbnails or just in general, it feels nice to have a little surface to work on. To take you through some of my favorite things on this set right here, I've got the Supreme lock box because yes, I'm a hype beast. I love shoes. I love Supreme stuff. Call me a sucker. But I also like some more sophisticated stuff. For example, reading, like I got my personal Bible right here. I've got the illustrated Harry Potter set right here. Also on the set, I love vintage Edison bulbs. You'll see this floating one right here. It's amazing, I'll be sure to link it below. It's such a cool piece to add to any studio. And then my favorite manga is Dragon Ball. If you didn't know, it's based on a Chinese fairy tale of the Monkey King, and that's what Goku is based on, which is awesome. Also on here, you'll see my first ever big YouTube purchase just these Marshall Stanmore speakers that I don't even know if they still work, but that was my first big thing I purchased with my first big YouTube check. Like I said, I'm a science teacher, so this bad boy right here is one of my personal favorite things on here. Shout out to Armando and the B&H team. This is a absolutely crazy awesome periodic table with a bunch of the elements actually in here. Of course, not the radioactive or crazy rare expensive elements, but most of the elements are in here. How cool is that? Last but definitely not least, as I said, I love plants, but some of my plants have kind of died out a little bit. Not my fault in here, just a winter thing, not enough sunlight kind of thing, but I have some awesome ones that I absolutely love, like this dwarf fiddle leaf fig, as well as this string of hearts. I've got tons of awesome plants. If you guys want a plant video, I would love to share that with you. Now this one behind me is arguably one of my favorites because this was a junk closet that was turned into this epic pegboard wooden floating desk setup that I am in love with. In this setup right here, of course the main centerpiece is the giant eight foot wide black metal pegboard that I have some tools on right now, but I have yet to fully kit it out with more tools, some art pieces, some different things that would just make this an awesome backdrop. I've used it a couple times and you guys have been loving this backdrop, but also on here are custom built-in shelves with black piping, wooden birch shelves. The desktop is a giant butcher block of birch that is floating on metal brackets. And this setup is just so minimal, so clean. Over here hidden in the corner is a a flush mounted desktop power strip with a couple three pronged outlets, a couple USB outlets. If you go along the wall hidden in the corner, there is a power outlet that goes all the way to the top to light up the ambiance, the background Edison vintage lights that are pendant hanging lights. I absolutely love that look. And back in 2016, when I was big into desk setups, I was one of the first people to pioneer that and really add Edison bulbs to setups. Dang, those are the good times. Also one of the first people, if not the first people ever, to do that famous Carl B countertop with Alex Shore setups. Shout out to Dom from Mac Mixing, shout out from Frank, from Random Frank P, shout out to the Tech Ninja Kevin, all those awesome YouTubers that also adopted it, but gave me shout outs, appreciate you guys. Built in is of course super clean cable management. On this side, I even have a Sonos Play 1, but the studio is fully kitted out with smart home features. Check this out. Alexa, turn off studio. Okay. Alexa, turn on studio. You gotta love that, right? One of my favorite parts to the setup is actually the two little walls on either side of this closet setup. That one, I'll save it for a future video. But this one right here, 
this one has a super awesome skate deck of Banksy's art piece that I absolutely love, the Flower Bomber. And then right here, I love this little wooden catch-all from Grove Made. It's super convenient. In here, I'll always have a little bit of a unboxing knife, but also in here, I'll keep some of the different tech items, keys, phones, things that I'm about to review even, so I remember to do that. That's a little catch-all that I absolutely love, and it matches all that light-toned wood that I have in my studio. Some things I plan on adding is a long shelf up on top of the black pegboard, just for storage that's kind of out of sight. And then over here, you'll see that there's two shelves on metal brackets. Over here, I only have one, because that's how I kind of wanted to keep it for now. What are some ideas you guys have for me to improve my studio even more? What are some of your favorite things you saw in this studio, or maybe some things you want to adopt to your very own YouTube studio? Drop a comment down below. I'd love to talk with you guys, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tons of awesome new content coming in 2021. I want to give a huge shout out to Armando, the B&H photo team, and his new awesome series called Studio Bites. Armando and my family actually worked together to build this episode epic YouTube studio. What you've seen so far is only the beginning. They did such an awesome job and I'm so grateful for everything that they provided, that they built, that they donated, and I'm excited to also add to it and make things personalized for myself and what works best for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Jerry Land with Nobatech. Till the next one and beyond. Might be the last time I say that. I'm trying to transition out of that. Make sure you guys go check out Armando's channel and the full before and after video of my entire YouTube studio upgrade.